Uh, Dave, we're hanging out. A lot of, a lot of strong racers here today. <laughs> Traveled from far and wide across the country. Uh, I think Seattle is, uh, is going to do well, but I will be happy if the Seattle Rider places in the top five. Some of these gentlemen here from uh, you know, track backgrounds and messaging backgrounds. It's, uh, it's a tough landscape. Indeed. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's for real out here. Fast Friday is a legit event now. People are traveling all over the country. Shit, shit's real. Shit is real. I was in San Francisco before uh, Seattle. I happened to be a bike messenger there at the time and started uh, a project for a race called the CMWC. I made a run of 50 shirts and figured it'd, it'd be worth it, worth a shot to see if it would sell or not. And they did, so I kept going. Cadence is just uh, a clothing company based around uh, like urban cycling, bike messengers and stuff. I was really just trying to like figure out what I wanted to do. Um, you know, I knew I didn't want to be a bike messenger for the rest of my life. Did I expect it? No, because I never, ex you know, just like I don't do it for the money, like that whole yeah, thing. It's just like just do it, do it, do it, and just let it be what it's got to be. Hard work pays off, or not even hard yeah, well, work. Yeah, because it's like right ideas. it's its own thing now too. It's not like it's yeah. It's just it's cool to see it do its own thing. Like I don't know, there'll probably be a point where I don't even go to Fast Friday anymore, and that's awesome too. You know, like whoa, like it is like a child. Maybe. I'll I was riding my track bike and, uh, you know, I just kind of started I came across the MASH video, which is a video um, based on uh, fixed gear riding in San Francisco. Justin's in it, he, he moved here from SF. I posted on, on a bike forum, I was like, you know, is there any sort of scene like that in yeah, Seattle? Right. I just saw the video from San Francisco, whatever. Dustin replied, he was like, yeah, we, I'm from San Francisco, you know, we, me and a friend of mine, we get down, there's just two of us now, but, like, you should come meet up with us. <laughs> when I started it, Fast Friday was held at Cadence in the basement, commons area of, the, of where my studio was located. This is Dustin's home, and then the track tank competition is right over that uh, uninsulated <laughs> wall. Check it. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was I was hoping to see Sebastian there. 
He's a really good rider and he's a messenger too, but he's, he's super good. But if there's anybody I fear when it comes to a track staying competition, it's definitely him. This bastard, like, sits there, has conversations, drinks the beer, has some of the leaves, on point. There's gotta be something better. We were talking about changing reload, where it would be cool to have reload store as like a hangout, like old skateboard shops. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this was to like one to grow it to make the scene happen quicker, which is kind of gross. But I was lonely. <laughs> I initially started it to be a bicycle community building event. I wanted it to be open to all bicycles, it didn't matter what it was. But as, as uh, time went on and as we, we did more and more of these events, we just noticed that it, all the events became like track bike specific. We just found that there was more things that we could do with track bike. Gear bicycle, also known as a track bike. It looks like a road bike. Uh, one gear, no freewheel, no brakes. You pedal forward, you go forward. You pedal backwards, you go backwards. I do think for it, it is a trend for a lot of people, and um, I don't know. I, I got into it because I liked the the way the bike was. I didn't didn't understand the versatility and what all I could learn and do on a fixed gear until I started riding it for a bit. More or less it was to learn just more about bikes and another aspect of it. The elements that make up track culture are very strong and they make me think that it's going to be around for a long time. One, you can do tricks on them. And kids love doing tricks. Skateboarding purely is tricks. People are doing new, like, crazy things with it. New video you see every day of like, oh, I didn't even know that was possible on a track bike, you know? You can race on a track bike. And what I think is actually one of the strongest elements is you can commute on it. You don't have to use a vehicle, you don't have to pay for gas. Like, I don't have a car, I don't want a car. It's too easy to get around the city not having a car, so. They're fun to ride. They look cool, you can personalize them. Like, it's self-sufficient, it's healthy. It, like, it makes sense. And I love being able to use the same medium for getting from one place to another to having fun and experimenting, you know, like doing tricks. That's what's so powerful about track bikes. Why would you get in a car when you can ride your bike anywhere? Two people long right now. Get with the time, crack a bottle, grab a mic. This is Justin Doom Megaphone. I was just thinking about the seam, the seam thing, and I think it's like kind of new and still being defined. So it's like a really key time to like give a space for people to congregate. In order to build community, people need a space in order to meet on common ground. I think that's like kind of what's happening here. The Cadence Classic was a, a three month cycling event held in the, the dead of winter with uh, main events happening uh, for each month. January 5th, main event is track stand. February 2nd, 
Main event, quick stop. March 2nd, main event, main race. The person that, with the most accumulative points at the end of the three months was the winner of the Cadence Classic. I want that fucking bag. <laughs> the grand prize for the Cadence Classic was a, a Fast Friday bag collaboration of Reload and Cadence. Let's look at here on who I can beat on this list, shall we? Jason, maybe. That's me. Kia, I can beat only if he gets a flat or if I have a better route. John Kwan, also the if same situation. If he gets a flat... The reason that the Classic was initiated was to, to, to bind everybody together through the dead of winter. You're on your way, yeah. Thank God it's Fast Friday. Is there something FF? Who's coming with me? Adams. Adams racing? Yeah. Do you have a picture of bike? Or? Hey, you're racing? On my bike. Is that DeRosa? This is DeRosa. Gear bike. Oh, I'm not beating him. All right, so it's looking like I'm probably getting last. You're so in control. You're, you know, your feet are attached to the pedals. Pedals are attached to the drivetrain. And it's just all always going, always moving. It's like driving, you know, a stick shift versus um, an automatic, you know. kids uh, that may get into it because of a, like a style or a hip or a trend uh, reason. There's a, a tendency for them to become like, like serious about it. There's more to it than just like this thing. It's not just a form of transportation. Go! It's, it's really fun. It totally puts the skills to the test and lets everybody know what uh, everybody else has got. Everyone's stoked on what everyone else is doing. You know, congratulates everyone and everything. So 
competitive, you know, but not too competitive where people start getting like, you know, Arrgh. yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, working on my backward circles. No one can really do them. Dustin can do a few. Dustin can do them. You doing backward circle? You know, I've only got like one in the bank. You know, I don't know if that's gonna be a good shot. I think in March I could maybe do two backward circles. I didn't read your circles. We didn't have much competition. I tried to get my friend in there. Was, he's pretty good and stuff like that, but we were both pretty nervous. Uh, and everybody else is here. So. Shit. I got nervous too. That's why I drink. <laughs> <laughs> hybrids of like track events too like missing out or like uh, just do an event where you know if, if like 15 people decide to race just like you know then it's 15 laps like each month can be a different thing like meet up out by Discovery Park and like all the events are hill events right. or like some place where it's flat and all the events are like sprint speed events yeah like we were talking about possibly doing like a track stand twister Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. I think it, that would be fun. Yeah, it would be totally fun. I think people would be into it in best trick. You're supposed to be taking notes, yeah. idiot. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm excited for uh, best trick, which we're introducing this uh, this Friday. I'm glad that it's developing into like some form of sport in a way, other than just like the velodrome and races. In the back of our minds, we wanted to you know push the push the skills, push the trick stuff. So we're introducing it for the first time this month. Uh, hopefully kids are working on shit, you know, I, when we session I see, you know, kids pulling some good stuff. I, I have a feeling like Kia and Kia are top dogs in competition right now. To me it's like a stone cold competition, like I'm there to like win, and when I lose I even get mad because it's like, I know I can do this, god damn it. Kia, excuse me, had like this awesome ass skid like through the through the frame and like over the bars and spinning around 180 and it just looks so beautiful. Of course I busted off the no-handed wheelie for everybody. I, like nobody's like really seen that yet. When Kyo was doing his shit, everyone was just like, oh <laughs> coming out and getting into this and they're seeing what's going on there they totally dig it it's like it's it's a it's a good uh, form of entertainment even to people right it's relaxed it's not quite yeah. as like a big event and it's all in one place so you can just hang out and watch it if you don't want to compete a lot of people have the misconception that fast friday is like you have to compete it's like a 50 50 thing the reason it was created was for spectators and racers i'm not racing now what? Oh, you remember that time we went through the list and I talked about all the people I could and could not beat and it turns out I cannot beat any of them? So you just... I'm not gonna race now. I'm a little nervous about the race tonight just cause uh, it's like pouring out there. Last time I raced in the rain I crashed and put my face on the ground so I'm not gonna do it. The main focus for the races and checkpoints and everything is keep people on their toes. <laughs> I actually threw up in my mouth a little bit while I was racing because I had a little bit to drink. Well, wait, you have to go! Fast way. The main races are just, it's all about fun. Fast way! I cannot not drink before Fast Friday. <laughs> I'm going to uh, hand this nice young lady a $1 bill. I'm going to get a PBR to uh, replenish those carbohydrates and electrolytes.
right there was, was pretty trash and stuff. It's like an all-out party. Detroit what? Yeah! I see, hopefully, in my mind, I see it progressing in the way that like BMXing has, or like skateboarding. really fun to ride, it's a different feel, it's very bare bones and basic. I like that about it. Yeah, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. It's definitely more complex as far as like skid stopping and stuff like that that I've seen you guys do it. It looks so graceful and like pretty easy, but like when you actually ride the bike, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. Mario, try to do some skids. Oh! I'm really glad I did it and I've been having a lot of fun and it's only been like two weeks, so. It's really cool to like see, you know, people doing stuff like this Fast Friday thing that Dustin's doing. It's fucking really cool um, because kids are just out on their bikes and there's no, there's no nonsense. I mean, that's the one thing I noticed about Seattle when I was there, man. Just as a group, it's like everyone's learning, everyone's progressing, and everyone's doing it together. So it's inspiring to see kids like up in Seattle doing stuff that is very pure, that's very fun, it's all positive. Hey, let's go. 
Dustin, you gotta explain, right? We're just gonna ride. Oh yeah, does anybody actually want to race? Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 No, it's right. We're just gonna ride. Ride bikes. Next message. Hey dude. Uh, for that side of this month, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do one race with two, two required stops. So, static cadence, and you gotta get a burrito and 40 ounces of beverage and meet and, and finish at the ocean. First one there wins all the glory on our system. And then everyone's at the beach, we can just take it, have burritos, beers, and enjoy the summer. I'll be back. And this message. My copper crown's gone green Pull me, pull me on out of this tree I get calls from friends that don't bike and they say, hey, I saw your group of friends, that Fast Friday crew, like rolling through. And it's, oh, that's kind of fun that we've established a tight-knit group. Yeah. Track fixed kids? Not mess. It's not like a message. Yeah, it's not. Spot. It's beyond that. Like, What's the name? They're you know riders, I mean? bikers. Like, see, there is no definition yet. Yeah, like, it's making. It's yeah, it's making not defined yet. That's a female young So the fixed gear came in like right on time. I like lost my brother and he got shot and killed. So I was just like, I needed something to like kind of take my mind off. That's what I did. Like I, I hopped on that sucker, rode it, and I was just hooked. All oh, the hand, it's no handy. <laughs> Yo. Uh, hey yo, below the terra yeah. firm is the yeah. murmur of many men Resonating the predication of rise up in them It requires a higher degree of thought to transmit Elevate above the base and retrace the semantics And commensurately we've been held in communicado From common to the commodore, they breed bravado I exercise authority over the lesser ranks We rally and tally up at the shores of the West Bank The shoddy lick the body politic Fill a kickback, son, part in the water and to permit that one Sinking solemnly into the vein of my pathology I maintain the etymology of the fuck phrenology Copy me cosmically, I seek to be laconic and terse The meek shall admonish the earth While the merits of inheritance are gainfully peeled The symbolism of nepotism is painfully real The provision is a policy of plotting my demise In addition, the aristocracy is blocking the yard lies Commandants calling for change by any means I've seen heaven and hell, it feels strange In between, never settle the metal pacifies rebel troops But truth is the honor in the eyes of the resolute Press on, employ the pen to postulate upon it Verily I perform the past summarily You wonder why? Uh, they say that he was born that way They can't imagine having to go on that way And maybe if you pray for him, he'll be drawn from the fray Or maybe what? Maybe he's okay, uh, yeah he had to have been born that way They can't imagine 
having to go on that way And maybe if you pray for him, he'll be drawn from the fray Or maybe what? Maybe he's okay Yeah, <laughs> my bad <laughs> From my solid form, I lick will try to be absorbed by the ripper Stand read your living to me or more Chant freedom and they face in a base My cap tours with grace I play Kate in the way, the rap tour In this colony, I've seen atrocities personified Still unable to affect the sovereignty of the allied It's the balance, they challenging your will to achieve Imprison my coalition, but my vision's still free Free he had to have been born that way A great many show envy towards the Lord's protege Maybe if you pay for it, he'll perform a display Or maybe what? Maybe you're too late he had to have been born that way A great many show envy towards the Lord's protege Maybe if you pay for it, he'll perform a display Or maybe what? Maybe you're too late Huh, stop sleeping Okay, so we know we're doing main event We know we're doing best trick Trex and Trex Twister. And I kind of want to buy a megaphone. We need one. When we started running it, it was like all the other kids were sort of like, well, what can I do to help? Give us give us shit to do. Everyone was just sort of down to help. We got leftover support from like Mobius and Dustin just sort of naturally was like, you know how this works. You're here all the time. You, you make your own event. And so it just made sense, you know, like I had been there for a while. Jason, you know, super like about it. You gotta pitch in to your community too. I'm gonna step up the game as far as organization goes. So he sort of passed the reins on to us and, um, you know, he's still there, like came to the meeting, had suggestions like, like let us know what to do. He's always down to help. We're gonna divide the board into right and left sides. That's so not center, dude. Yeah, fuck. Shit. <laughs> Dude, he broke his fucking arm. Let me see. Holy shit. Oh, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Man, I went flying around that car. It's been about two or three months now on the fixed gear bike, so not too long, but definitely getting more comfortable on the bike every day. My friend Nick, who also is a new new guy, we both decided to do a couple of the events, and that was a lot of fun. I was I was kind of second guessing whether I really wanted to do it on this first this first one since I started riding the bike, but uh, I'm glad I did. Those guys just they made us have fun, you know. <laughs> a little too much to drink, and I fucking my bike shot out, and I fucking. Another guy's starting, so can we push it? Trying to keep the race going. It's all in the game. Yeah,
Right hand top tube. Left hand. <laughs> you know, Ralph broke his arm. <laughs> That's what fast ride is all about. It's about resilience it's about in the face of adversity and a, and a lot of alcohol. <laughs> but I remember my first fast Fridays. Like I remember coming home, and I was like, that was the most fun that I've ever had on a bicycle. Like for sure. Like and probably one of the most fun days of like my life. Like no, I'm, so, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding, dude. No, no, no. Come because on. it's cool. <laughs> You're just letting it all out now, dude. Oh, God. I met a lot of new people from going. A lot of people that are my friends now. You know, I've met tons of riders and everything. Everybody's super cool here. And uh, we all get along. We all have a lot of fun. It, it's this community. There's all these events to it. There's a, a reason to get good at it. There's, you, there's prizes to win. There's friends to be made. Where did all these people come from? I don't know, dude. You started it. Tell you something about this guy. This guy is the newbie in your video, and he was in the final race, trying to progress you every know? day. Yesterday he couldn't skate. Today he's winning races. We just sort of welcome everybody, regardless of skill level and experience. And definitely like a very cool sense of community. Everyone's just kind of stoked to be together and like hanging out and uh, now we're just like one really big group of friends. It's about bringing people together above all else. It's, uh, it's good, clean fun. I wouldn't do anything else with my Friday. I'm almost 21. Uh, February 10th. Sometimes I feel so Working on it, I just. Uh, tonight I'm trying to do a, a one, one foot track stand on juggling. I'm gonna work tomorrow. Oh, I said a little bit. I have to go. I just took a shower, but I didn't just flash my face up a button back like a bomb that was on Successful and quite lazy, just like the rhyme that I try to slip past record go when it's on a slip mat. Save myself like a charlatan minister, ordain online cards from the internet. What you figure around with your little chicken neck? You go up, make a red killer, place a bigger bat. Just cause a rap about my life doesn't mean I hesitate to turn you to a highlight. John Starks, you put you on a poster, sneaker in your mouth like you're ready for your close up. Topic, sorry, we ain't got none. Let the beat drive, I'ma sit here at a shotgun. While I'm here, I'ma change the station. For you, it's like an all expense pay vacation.